Maybe she can do it? It's 13. Your defeat was inevitable. Six. Oh, wow. I'm gonna actually lose if she misses again. Yep, she's down. Damn. battle next week. It's gonna increase. We get her authority up. I still have much. It's all in. This will be a That went way... Hey. Question for you. Such interesting ideas you seem to have, Professor, but tell me this. What would you do if you were given the task of teaching a subject that you yourself did not understand? 
That was surprisingly reasonable. But research yet. Okay. Professor? He is both, so no, I want you to focus on both. Okay. Hmm. I wonder why. Hey, sorry. Why does Lady Rhea give you special treatment? You're not particularly strong or good looking. You seem exceedingly unremarkable. Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. Shamir came from the same background, but she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. Besides, it would be one thing if you got brought on as a knight, but a professorship, unprecedented. Sorry. I'm not blaming you, I'm just perplexed. And it's not like just anyone can wield the Sword of the Creator. Like me. It's a legendary relic, right? And it was casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Geralt. He was a leader of the Knights of Saros, and probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlan. By the time I joined, he was gone. So I don't know him too well, but he's strong, right? Oh, come on. I could take him. Come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlin who hasn't heard tales of the Blade Breaker. Maybe that's it. Geralt used his influence to help you. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. Yeah, bro. No, definitely not. There must be something more to you. Oh, you can join me and figure okay, out. That settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. Oh, okay. You could just join me. We need to go to battle next week. I won't forget all I've learned. The battlefield has much to teach. I'm closing in on expertise. But the next two weeks is going to be fighting. Well, yeah, next week is fishing, and I can't do it anyway, so. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Bonus damage as well. There it is. Doesn't tell me how to do it though. Oh, so I can pull out new people. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Focused. Oh no. I will get the victory. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. I will prevail. Put me in there. As you wish. That's my cue. I won't go 
down so easily. Ugh. Battle? My heart is full of victory. I am great. of nobility. be nothing. Hey. No obstacle will stand. 
Nice. You see that? Wow, amazing. As expected. Another step. Damn.
Okay. Hardly worth my time. No hesitation. Should I have held back? Show me more. I'm just going to use this spell because I can't. This hits he said. There we go. You were wide open. Growth is a part. This was beneath me. He's always the MPP. Okay, cool. Still doing good work, man. I think we'll do the next battle and then we will uh, end the stream when we hit the next actual legit one. Which is on the 31st. Never underestimate it. I am quite pleased. Never under it. Never under it. Seems simple. I appreciate your coaching.
your guidance. One step be I have understood. You are giving. I have understood. I appreciate your I want you to have authority. Authority and reason. were not in vain. I'm getting it. Well done. You have my thanks. Nice. and heavy armor. Axe. 86. Strength and dex goes up. Dex goes up, speed goes down now. Defense is 16, otherwise your defense... We'll make her into an Arbor Knight, I think. Nice. As expected.
I'm good here. I'm good here. I'm good here. Got an iron lance. We need some work. Good there. Can get another both Petra. Okay, let's get these up. Hmm. With this idea, I may be able to get the one up on Edelgard. This again. Hubert! I wish you would not sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Maybe you would be more perceptive if your mind were less burdened by sedition. Sedition? Absurd. This is an important project. Yes, I heard. A new way to prove how superior you are to Lady Edelgard. She is not your rival, Ferdinand. She is above you. A noble like you ought to know his place. <laughs> Anything is better than being a noble like you. Every time you open your mouth, it's Lady Edelgard this or Lady Edelgard that. Do you ever think for yourself? You follow her around like a pet. You spend all of your time fretting over her. And yet, you never truly express an opinion of your own. Before you reprimand me, take a moment to consider your own failings. Your nonsense is tiresome. So I hope this will be the last time I have to remind you. Lady Edelgard is the Imperial Princess. You are merely the Prime Minister's son. Yes, I understand that. But my duty is to guide her. To give frank advice when she is on the wrong course of action. That is what I strive to do, always. Thus, my devotion to surpass Edelgard, so that if she needs guidance, I will be prepared to give it. If you think it is tiresome to have a mind of your own, you will never be much of an advisor. Does the river of filth pouring out of your mouth ever stop flowing? <laughs> your obsession with all things superficial is disgusting. It's no use. You're hopeless. I'll take my leave. I have nothing more to say to you. Get out of here. Damn! You came at just the right time, Edelgard. Is that so? Yes, I have a story for you. It's about a pair of nobles living about a hundred years after the founding of the Adrestian Empire. One was Derek Von Eyer. People called him the warrior prime minister. He bravely led soldiers into battle and mowed down his enemies. And the other... Was the emperor of the time. She wagered the throne in a duel against Derek and won. 
Why don't we do what our ancestors did and have a little duel ourselves? That's what you were going to say. But the answer is no. You interrupted me! The warrior prime minister used a dramatic line to propose the duel, and you did not allow me to say it! My apologies, Ferdinand. Well, at any rate, you were correct in surmising that I was about to challenge you. But you were rather blunt in your refusal. Ferdinand, control yourself. When will you tire of challenging me in pointless competitions? I can quit now if you insist on it. I will not challenge you again. You expect me to believe that? Why do you look so surprised? Of course it is not a valid duel unless both parties are willing. Now that you have refused outright, I must come up with some other way of getting that which I seek. I'm afraid to ask what you could possibly mean by that. Only that I will find some other way of showing everyone that I am superior to you. Huh. I will write a handbill listing your accomplishments, alongside my own more impressive accomplishments. Copyists will produce thousands of these pamphlets and distribute them far and wide. Then everyone will know about my... This has to stop. <sighs> Perhaps I should have ended things with a duel after all. <laughs> Bernadetta, why are you following me? <laughs> um... You were following me quite conspicuously, so why attempt to hide now? I... um... Um... <laughs> Please don't hurt me! Calm yourself, I have no reason to harm you. Forgive me, I beg you! I'll go straight back to my room and you'll never see me again, I swear! Bernadetta. Yes, Lady Edelgard! Please explain why you were following me and why you tried to hide. Is Her Highness saying she will not condemn me? Please, speak like the human that you are. I already said no harm will come to you. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Um, permit me to explain. Lady Edelgard, you are fearless. I look up to you as an example to follow. And that explains it. How? I decided to watch you from a distance, to learn from you. But your presence is, um, intimidating. I got more and more scared until I finally couldn't help but try to hide! Uh, forgive me! I throw myself upon your mercy! Honestly. Look. Nobody is truly fearless. Even I have things that I'm afraid of. What? You do? You seem oddly overjoyed at the thought. N no, of course not! But, um, what in the world could possibly frighten you? The sea. I find the pitch black of the open sea at night quite frightening. I can't swim, so if the sea were to wash me away, I fear I would never return. The sea? I think I may have seen it once. Maybe. I didn't know you couldn't swim. That's a surprise. Again, my shortcomings delight you. Everyone has fears as well as things they can't do. How many times must I tell you? <laughs> I really did make you angry! <laughs> This one should be good. Ah, Dorothea. The dining hall seems so much brighter with you here. Ferdy, I must say you are quite adept with flattery. Please, give me some more. Flattery? No, I was not... <sighs> there you go with that attitude again. Why do you reserve such cold treatment for me and me alone? Do you hate me, Dorothea? Or have you some other reason to avoid my company? I underestimated you. I assumed your noble upbringing had dulled your perception. But you got it right on your first try. I hate you. Huh, I was right. Might I ask why you find me so despicable? I can scarcely guess. Don't waste another minute thinking about it. <laughs> that will not do. I do not think you would hate a person for no reason. Hmm, perhaps. How's this? 
If you can guess why, I'll let you know if you're right. The brains of us common folk are so simple, it should be pretty easy for a big shot noble to sort out. <sighs> Very well. I cannot walk away from a challenge. I have no choice but to chance a guess. You are always making fun, calling me a big shot and so forth. Perhaps you think all nobles are... No, it cannot be that simple. Oh? <laughs> what can't be that simple? Uh, please, will you not give me a clue? Well, let me see. A good clue? I know. It's because you're like a bee. That ought to be enough of a clue. So long, Ferdy. A bee? I haven't the slightest. Perhaps because I am such a diligent worker? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.